Nvidia just experienced its biggest market value drop ever, losing $600 billion, all because of a groundbreaking new AI chip that outperforms its GPUs by an astonishing 57 times in AI performance. This shift in AI computing could completely change the industry and redefine which companies lead the future of artificial intelligence. At the heart of this disruption is DeepSeek R1, an advanced AI model known for its reasoning capabilities. However, the real game changer is Cerebra Systems, a company that has just demonstrated that GPUs may no longer be the best option for AI. Cerebrus's new wafer-scale AI processor is achieving speeds of 1,600 tokens per second when running DeepSeek R1, something NVIDIA's GPUs simply can't compete with. For years, AI models have focused on generating text, images, and code based on patterns. DeepSeek R1, however, takes a different approach. Instead of just predicting words, it specializes in reasoning, solving multi-step logical tasks, and providing deep analytical insights, making it far more advanced than traditional AI models like ChatGPT or Gemini. This level of intelligence could revolutionize industries, from research to corporate decision-making. What's even more shocking is DeepSeek's efficiency. Reports suggest it operates at just 1% of the cost of U.S. competitors. While companies like OpenAI and Google pour billions into AI development, DeepSeek has figured out how to achieve similar performance at a fraction of the cost rapidly making it a major player in the AI space. But there's a catch. DeepSeek is developed in China, meaning any company using its API is sending data to Chinese servers. Given concerns over data security, government regulations, and ongoing geopolitical tensions, this raises significant risks for companies looking to adopt it. So, is this the beginning of NVIDIA's decline? And will AI computing shift away from GPUs for good? The industry is at a turning point, one that could reshape the future of AI as we know it. Many businesses have been hesitant to adopt DeepSeek R1 due to concerns over data security, particularly since it is developed in China. This is where Cerebrus steps in. The company has figured out a way to host DeepSeek R1 entirely on U.S. servers, ensuring that sensitive data remains within American borders, all while delivering unparalleled AI speed and efficiency. But how is Cerebrus making this possible? The secret lies in its revolutionary AI chip, a piece of hardware that is fundamentally different from NVIDIA's GPS. How Cerebras just shattered AI speed records. For years, GPUs have been the backbone of AI computing, with NVIDIA's chips dominating the industry, powering everything from ChatGPT to Midjourney. However, despite their power, GPUs have a major drawback. They weren't originally designed for AI inference. Traditional AI workloads demand massive memory bandwidth and ultra-fast data transfers. GPUs built for graphics processing struggle to meet these requirements, creating bottlenecks that slow down AI computations. As AI models become more complex, these limitations become even more evident. Cerebrus has tackled this problem head-on with its wafer-scale AI processor, designed specifically for AI workloads. By eliminating the inefficiencies of GPUs, Cerebrus is redefining AI computing, setting new speed records, and reshaping the industry's future. Cerebras has taken a completely different approach to AI processing, ditching the traditional method of using clusters of smaller chips like GPUs. Instead, the company has created the world's largest AI processor on a single wafer-scale chip. This groundbreaking design eliminates inefficiencies caused by data transfers between multiple GPU units, allowing entire AI models to run on one massive processor without lag. The result? A dramatic increase in speed. When running DeepSeek R1, Cerebrus AI processor achieves an astonishing 1,600 tokens per second, compared to just 28 tokens per second on NVIDIA's GPUs. That's a staggering 57 times faster. And it's not just limited to DeepSeek. Benchmarks show that Cerebrus's wafer-scale technology outperforms OpenAI's GPT-4 and other leading AI models in key areas like mathematical reasoning, complex question answering, and AI coding. Even against Grok, another company specializing in ultra-fast AI inference, Cerebras is still six times faster. When compared to traditional GPU-based solutions like NVIDIA, the performance gap grows to nearly 100 times faster. With such a massive leap in speed and efficiency, Cerebras is redefining AI computing and challenging the dominance of GPUs in the industry. With such a massive leap in AI processing, one big question remains. If this technology is so superior, why hasn't NVIDIA responded?
the $600 billion meltdown. For the past decade, NVIDIA has dominated the AI hardware industry. Companies have spent billions on its GPUs, using them for everything from AI research to self-driving cars. Their chips became the default choice for machine learning and artificial intelligence, making NVIDIA the world's most valuable semiconductor company. But that dominance is now being questioned. The rise of DeepSeek R1, combined with Cerebra's ability to run it at record-breaking speeds, has shaken investor confidence. When reports emerged that DeepSeek was outperforming AI models from OpenAI and Google, investors began to realize that GPUs might no longer be the best option for AI computing. The market reacted immediately. NVIDIA's stock suffered its worst drop in history, wiping out $600 billion in value. This marks a turning point for the AI industry. NVIDIA has long operated under the assumption that GPUs were the only practical solution for AI workloads. But with companies like Cerebras proving that specialized AI processors can deliver far superior performance, the future of AI hardware is now up for grabs. A turning point for AI hardware. Specialized AI processors are proving to be faster, cheaper, and more efficient than traditional GPUs. This shift is challenging the long-standing GPU-centric model that has powered AI infrastructure for years. But this isn't just about one company or one breakthrough, it's about the entire future of AI computing. If GPUs are no longer the default choice for AI processing, NVIDIA faces a critical challenge. The company must adapt quickly to this wave of AI hardware innovation or risk losing its dominance in the AI market. The big question now is, can NVIDIA evolve or are we witnessing the beginning of a major shift away from GPUs altogether? The future of AI and the global tech battle. But there's more at stake than just hardware performance. AI adoption is no longer just about speed and efficiency. It's also about who controls the data. With increasing concerns over data privacy, government surveillance, and cybersecurity, many companies are hesitant to integrate Chinese-developed AI models into their operations. The AI race isn't just about technology anymore. It's about global influence, data sovereignty, and the ongoing US-China battle over AI dominance. The battle for AI supremacy. Concerns over data security and Chinese technology are no longer just theoretical. In recent years, U.S. lawmakers have taken a hard stance against Chinese tech companies, citing fears of data misuse. ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, has faced intense scrutiny over how it handles user data, leading to multiple legal battles and even bans. Now, those same concerns are being raised about AI models like DeepSeek. This is where Cerebrus steps in. By hosting DeepSeek R1 entirely on U.S. soil, the company removes China's influence offering businesses access to DeepSeek's powerful AI capabilities without the security risks. James Wang, a senior executive at Cerebras, described this as taking back AI supremacy, implying that while China has made significant advancements in AI, the U.S. now has a chance to reclaim its leadership. But this isn't just about business, it's about global AI dominance. The AI race is no longer just about developing the fastest models. It's about who controls the infrastructure, who owns the data, and which country dictates the rules. With companies like Cerebras, OpenAI, and Grok pushing forward with cutting-edge AI chips and hosting solutions, the U.S. is positioning itself to lead the next era of artificial intelligence. The future of AI hardware. Are GPUs becoming obsolete? For years, AI development has revolved around GPUs, with companies spending billions on NVIDIA's chips, believing they were the only viable option for training and running AI models. NVIDIA's dominance in the AI hardware space seemed unshakable, powering everything from research labs to large-scale AI deployments. But Cerebras has just proved that might no longer be the case. With its wafer-scale AI processor, the company has demonstrated that specialized AI chips can be faster, more efficient, and more cost-effective than traditional GPUs. Unlike clusters of GPUs that create memory bottlenecks, Cerebra's single-chip architecture eliminates inefficiencies, significantly boosting AI inference speeds. And they're not alone. Tech giants like Google, Amazon, and Microsoft are also moving away from NVIDIA's GPU ecosystem by developing their own AI-specific processors. Google's TPUs, tensor processing units, are designed specifically for machine learning workloads, 
Amazon's Tranium and Inferentia chips optimize cloud-based AI inference. Microsoft's Maya AI chips are built to power its own AI infrastructure. The shift is clear. AI is moving toward specialized hardware. What does this mean for NVIDIA? If AI companies continue transitioning away from GPUs, NVIDIA risks losing its biggest market. Right now, it still dominates AI training, but as AI inference becomes more efficient, companies are actively seeking faster and cheaper alternatives. And the competition is moving fast. In just a few years, companies like Cerebrus, Groke, and other AI chip startups have surpassed GPUs in performance. If NVIDIA doesn't pivot soon, it could start losing ground in the AI space. The big question now is, can NVIDIA develop a competitive AI-specific chip before these newer companies take over? The AI hardware arms race. One thing is certain, NVIDIA is no longer untouchable. GPUs have long been the backbone of AI powering everything from ChatGPT to Tesla's self-driving cars. But now, the industry is shifting and we're witnessing the beginning of an AI hardware arms race. Beyond just performance, AI hardware development is becoming a matter of global competition. The US-China AI rivalry is heating up, and data sovereignty is now a key issue. As AI capabilities advance, the question of who controls the technology and where data is processed will become even more critical. So, what do you think? Are we witnessing the end of NVIDIA's GPU dominance? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this topic interesting, check out the recommended video on your screen now. Thanks for watching.